Let's see what we can see what's going on here. Just the drag brake is set way too high. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. Things do like to turtle a lot, don't they? Running cat. <laughs> Cat's a little bit of a trip. She's not been outside much, so she's still still getting used to being outside and all the joys of the city. Oh. center and rear but I do have the front open Ooh. hit the tree um, some point I'll take that out I think it's a little crawl area panorama. I'm in a little bit of a pit we got dug out here. Yeah, man. Gotta get that drag brake set. As soon as you let it up, the drag brake sets her up, locks her, and no free reel anymore unless you're on the throttle. Gotta get used to the way this thing Turtle, turtle. All over the place, the turtle. It's the one downside. Use some little wider wheel stance here and there, offset wheels, different hugs. Shot of it. Yeah, I mean, but the drain break is just sick and stuff. <laughs> Roll it right over. That's all drag break. So I've got to make adjustments. But yeah, everything's working good. It appears to be. <laughs> Damn. And they ask when you nail it and let off the gas, so, so I do have to make some setting adjustments. Install the, uh, install the, uh, hot wire 
Bluetooth so I can jump into its phone here. It goes pretty good. 15 suit pinion in it right now. That's the first gift. Cranking past in first gear, it gets pretty good. As far as slow speed, it can get pretty slow. Go down the edge of it. Oop, blew out tranny. Nope, got, got neutral. And still pretty quick on two. It's about as fast as it was on the other stock setup on two speed. I got it in the GNS, I can put it out there and put it in. It's nice that it doesn't squat. Taking off. No major car twist. Radio saying battery can't give the power it wants. These are this is a 3s 30 C's though, so I got a couple, I think 100 C's in the chopping cart right now. Well, the whopper. Lost a, another tab. It's a couple of times I've knocked those out. I'm wondering, just getting pulled out because of those tab loops I put on there, catching on stuff and just yanking it right out. I think it is. Let's see if I can find it over here. Talk about the body clip and tab. I got a zip strip of the tab on it for labeling cables. And I've had two of them fall out. Same size actually too. So I'm just wondering if that's uh no, they didn't fall out, they got bounced out or pulled out. I'm wondering if that's just the way I'm putting them in or if the tabs, because those tabs are big, they're getting hooked on shit and pulling it out. Let's see in here. I'm pretty sure it was there until it came out here in the yard, bounced around it. Yeah, I don't know, 11. 11.9, so I got plenty of juice back here. Let's see, but I got the other one in there, so I'll keep the, the roof down. That may be a place where screw on style nuts. Now I'm in the pro line. Well, maybe they got some metal brass inserts, so they may work all right. But it's a metal style, little screws. I better bring out the watering can to do that out there. I can't stretch it that far. Mm, well, it. Should go. It should be darn near. Well, no, you're close to. All the way out to there. You're close. To, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're close. Well, no, but it, it, you get her all the way open, she creates quite a good arc. Well, I know. That's why I stand here and I let that work. <laughs> yeah, just let those all go to the ground this way and that way there's room. And over here I can weed whack a little bit. Just kind of keep the grass low. 
We don't have any other good fun spots out here set up to go play yet. Gotta get some. Shifter seems working great in second gear. No more skipping, and that was a big thing. I'm going still, yep, it's still going. Hmm? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I was skipping out a second, and I did a little mod last night. And now it seems to be fine in a second. There, it shifted right in. And, ooh, can't do it again. Turtle shifted right in and no clickety clickety. It was cogging yesterday and the day before, you know, I didn't thin down the arm. I did a video on it last night. I thinned the arm down, the shift fork actually, not the arm, shift fork down. Um, on the second gear side, the, the cover side, so I could turn around and uh, get more engagement in second gear. Yeah, it was cogging out. Bucking. You ever had an old Harley Ironhead from like 84, 83 and before, you totally understand what being on a bike that's bucking means. It means you're about to blow second gear out the bottom of the transmission. Now the transmission case, which is going to pretty much trash your entire case because that's an all-in-one crankcase and panty system on the Sportsters. That's why you do see a lot of old sportsters turned into um, motor and transfer case with divorce, you know, transfer case. Because you blew out the transmission on second gear and chopped the tranny and everything off and just used the motor housing. Closed it up and made it like a regular shovel. Basically, that's what the iron head is, is a smaller shovel motor on a Smaller shovel molder on a one piece transmission. All in one. Of course, that you go with the old shovel will claim that I'm committing heresy right now. <laughs> but an iron head is almost a shovel, basically. It's pretty much the same internal setup, except the shovel's got more CCI and bigger displacement. So, bigger jugs, bigger case, crankcase, I mean it's made for 1200, 1400 cc where the iron heads originally were 900 and then a thousand, now they're 12, oh that's sucking, that drag brake is draggy, I gotta adjust the ESC, the drag brakes are, when you let off the throttle it automatically puts the brakes on and strong and I gotta weaken that down. Otherwise, it's in <laughs> pretty good to go. A little wider. I have a hanging. Did I blow out a? Well, I guess not. I say it shouldn't be. This is brand new. Oh yeah, right there. That's what's hanging. Looks like I lost my connection. Yep, you know, nothing more than just the connection. Set screw came loose on the thing, so I'll set those in a little higher. Other than that, the K&K uh, &K heavy duty brass, heavy duty brass steering um, horn. With the Reese 555 and then the Servo AF drag, well, I call it the drag saver, but it's their drag link servo saver. But uh, and then 120 shocks up front, along with the stockers with bumpers on the inside, bumpers on the outside. Yep, you gotta get put back on, I know. You need to have this put in. 
I had them set, so you know, maybe I did. Oh, that's right, I didn't put Loctite on those yet. Because I wasn't quite done with everything. I wasn't sure how it was going to work. It's a little short, as I was saying in the other video, but okay, yeah, everything's pretty good. Get some better 3S and a couple 4S packs. I'm looking at a couple packs from the Amazon just to get a few better batteries. These are 30 C's. I use these in my crawlers, so they're not quite not quite able to give out the juice, but anyways, later.